At ArcGIS Online, there are two different mapping engines. There's the Map Viewer, and now we're going to play with the ArcGIS Explorer Online, which is a Silverlight-based application that we've got running in the background here. And this is one that is just like the Map Viewer. It gives us live interactive maps. We can go in and turn off, if we want, the coordinates and scale. And we've got uh, the capacity to change the base map. Just the same base maps that we had in the map viewer. Let's switch to the imagery map and we still have the same capacity to zoom in and zoom out, pan around. We can switch over to the street map and take a look at the political landscape. We also have the option to take a look at a series of different layers. So I've got several in here and one is the map notes where we could add in points and lines and polygons that would show up in our map notes layer. You'll see that a little later. And we also have a presentation capacity. I've got five different slides already configured and I click on the first one and you'll see the background and a title. And the items that are displayed when we save that map get displayed in this frame. So you can see the graticule showing. And then we switch to frame number two. It has a title. It's a different title that we configure with the tools that are up at the top of the screen. And the lock indicates that the map extent is uh, frozen there so that we can uh, keep it. We've got different four different frames that we're working on here and you'll notice that now with my map notes I can hover over this item that I've created that is a hand-drawn display of the Chesapeake watershed. Let's take a look at the fifth frame, the Washington DC area. And now what I'd like to do would be to get a little space and add a sixth frame, a new slide. I click the new button and I get a new slide in my tray and it's unlocked we can change the title and the background. Let's do the title first. Let's uh, let's make this one about the Washington Mall. All right, and then uh, let's change the background to the image layer, and then let's go zoom in to the extent of the mall. And I'm at. Uh, uh, a small display here so I can need to prepare for this at uh, full screen when we do our presentation. So I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to lock it and we're ready to present except this starts us from the selected slide. So let's go up to the front of our presentation and hit the play button. It opens up in full screen and we have a set of tools at the bottom and we can press the escape key to uh, escape. We've got full capacity to use the identify tool and we can identify our graticule lines or any other features that we have in place here. And when we're done panning and zooming around we can go to the next slide either pressing the forward button or hitting the space bar on the keyboard. We can also use the sliders to zoom in and zoom out and you'll see that the scale sensitive data layers appear and disappear. We can go into the mid-Atlantic region and slide around and the base map changes just as we need it and move forward to the watershed that we drew and I hover over it and you see the data that shows and then we can go into the final original frame, the Washington DC area. Let's go zoom in to where we think the map extent is going to be in the Washington Mall. And so I've got full capacity to control on each of these frames and make the decision of when I want to go to the next frame. And here we are oh, almost got uh, the Lincoln Memorial and Congress all in one. There we go. We've reached the end of the presentation. So exit or hit the space bar to escape. And that's ArcGIS Explorer Online. It's a tremendous, powerful tool for doing presentations about all kinds of content.